hate golf. I hate golf. Like I just hit the best lefty shot of my life with a three wood on the last hole. Golf is so stupid. Why do people play golf? This is the most frustrating thing ever. I don't know why I'd play. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, let's see, what am I even That was my second shot, that was my third shot, that was my fourth, this is my fifth shot, up and down for a double. Sick, freaking sick. Come on Mike, let's go make a double. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, this is part two of the 18 hole round of me playing golf lefty. If you have not watched part one yet, make sure you go and watch it before this one uh, to see what I shot on the front nine, see how it went. It was, uh, there was a lot going on. But if you did watch it already, you already know that I shot 17 over on the front nine of 53. I thought before the round, breaking 90 would be the goal. I guess I still technically could. Um, it'd be, I mean, I'd shoot even bar on the side, which I don't think is gonna happen. Um, but the new goal now is breaking 100. First time playing golf lefty, um, a full 18 hole round breaking 100 would be pretty pretty dang good uh yeah let's get this thing started if you're not subscribed already make sure you do and just let me know i've already said in the first video part one make sure you let me know what you think about this i might make this kind of a series type thing uh in the future and if you all enjoy me what enjoy watching me struggle out here playing golf lefty let me know i'll keep doing it for you all right number 10 Wide open hole, luckily. It feels nice to see just a freaking basically driving range. 463 yards. We're out here at General Creek, by the way. Let's, uh, let's hit a good drive here, right down the middle. See if I can make, I made one par on the front nine. See if I can make some more pars on this side. Uh, it'll be fine. Oh, I'm just not turning behind it. It's so much tougher to turn going lefty. I can tell on that one, like, I just barely turn and then I fire through. I'm just kind of, well, this drive just went nowhere. I hit a drive 265 earlier into the wind uphill. So when I actually square everything up, I can have some speed lefty. That one was just wide open face, fanned open. And now I have a long ways in. I threw it out. We're playing winter rules, so I plan it up. Just trying to hammer this one up there somewhere close to the green. No chance I get this there, I don't think, but we'll see. That was pretty nice. The lift of the green is a little short. That's a, that was a freaking that was a pretty nice swing. I'm not gonna lie there, Mike. It's solid, just a little butter, butter cut ski. Let's go, let's get up and down for the second part of the day. If you haven't seen the first video, you better go watch because my par I made was maybe the most I've got, most excited I've gotten on a golf course in a long time. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! All right, pretty good spot here. I didn't, didn't shoot it. I think it's probably like 50 yards, 40 yards. A lot of green to work with. I got 50 degree out. Try to hit a little low bumper and just run it back there. Not a low bumper at all, kind of a nippy pitch. All right, not anywhere close to the shot I was wanting to hit, but it worked out. I thought I was gonna have like a little low bump and run. Hey, that's a freaking like nine, 10 footer there for my par. Never mind, it was not 9, 10 feet. It was like probably 15 feet, but still a chance. Oh, it turned too much. That's a bogey. I, I learned it to the front nine. Bogeys, I will take. Just bad drive there. Bad drive set me up with too long of a second shot. That's okay. That puts me at 18 over through 10 holes. I'm breaking nine. I'm breaking 100. I'm breaking 100. 215 yards. I got my three wood out. Also, we're playing from the tips, by the way. I was I didn't want to go easy on myself and play a tee up or something. If y'all watched the first part, y'all saw that I was playing tips all the way around. I'm not redoing any shots. I've hit what two or three balls OB, one hazard ball. I'm not redoing anything as much as I wish I could. I'm not. I want to genuinely see what I would shoot in a tournament, pretty much, with uh, left-handed. So. Just put a good swing on this, try to hit the green. I haven't hit a green yet in regulation, so Let's see if I can do that for the first time. Oh my gosh. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Go in the hole. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. I had a little high draw on that. That was sick. I thought for a second if that landed shorter, that I might have a chance. If I had made a hole in one with a three wood lefty for my first hole in one on camera, 
Oh my gosh. Well, I didn't hit the green, sadly, but holy crap. That was the best swing of the day by far. Sick. All I, had, I, all I did there was make sure I got a little more hip turn on the way back. Maybe that's, maybe that's the key. All right, I'm actually in a good spot here. I thought it was gonna be more further back there. By the way, I've been putting a lot of these shots. My chipping's not terrible. Lefty, but I'm, I actually want to get like the best score possible. And the best way I can do that is just getting it on the ground with the putter. So I'm gonna be putting this one. I want to see what's it's landed though. Thought that might have a chance for it to go in if I hit a little harder. That was a good putt though. Good speed through through that fairway. Pretty straight putt here now. All right, that's second part of the day. Come on! That keeps me at 18 over through 11 holes. Just hit the best shot I've hit all day. Beautiful high little draw three wood. Had a nice two putt from long of the green. Two pars now. Come on. Number 12, 388 yards. Usually I would hit like a righty of three or four iron on this hole. I'm not gonna lie, this hole's gonna be tough for me today, lefty. Oh, no, 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 get left of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Whoo, Whoo. that was, that was, yeah, I mean, it's safe. That was far enough left. I'm, I want I want another one just for practice. Dude, that's a shot. If you watch part one, you'll know that I was like, the first three drives I hit were just absolutely striped, like perfect. It's talking about how I usually hit my driver left when I'm left-handed, and that's a shot I just, it's my bugaboo with the driver. I don't really know what to do to fix it, but it's all right, I hit some good drives today. Let's get it back to feeling decent. I'm safe over there. I hit it far enough left where I'm not in the water, so that's nice. I'm just trying to take my medicine here. I'm like two, 205 to the pin over water. I'm not hitting that shot. I, I mean, if I hit it through like I did last hole, it's probably actually kind of perfect, but even if I, if I hit it, oh, it's just not smart. So I'm gonna lay up with seven iron over to the right, try to just get it in play back in the fairway. That way I can just have a little wet shot in. Like I said, I'm just trying to make bogey here. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate golf. Like I just hit the best lefty shot of my life with a three wood on the last hole. Made a par. And then I hit a driver 70, 60 yards left. And then I just pulled that seven iron 40 yards right. I just, I, I don't, I don't understand golf. And now, I mean, I'm legit going to put this down there. Just laying up and the best way to, like I don't want to freaking screw up and chunk it where I don't get past the trees. <laughs> That's un. Buddy, this hole is a blow up. This hole is a blow up. This hole is a blow up. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that was funny as hell. But I'm pissed. Nine iron, 128. Just trying to get it, just advance it. Like I'm just hitting it sideways at this point. I'm falling apart. Sit. I am falling apart. Just as we speak right in front of our eyes i'm falling apart golf is so stupid why do people play golf this is the most frustrating thing ever if i if i was not good at golf i don't know why i'd play <laughs> oh man I mean, let's see what am i even that was my second shot that was my third shot that was my fourth this was my fifth shot up and down for a double sick freaking sick come on mike let's go make a double Wow, that's pretty good. Cool nippage on it. All right, dead off the toe, as you can see by that club face. Pretty good divot. All right, that was a pretty good shot. For some reason, I spin it even more lefty when I hit it solid. When I hit it solid. Let's see, let's double check. That was my second shot, third shot. Or wait, yeah, second shot, third shot, hit the cart path, four shot to there, that was the fifth shot, yeah. That butts for double. Uh, 18, 20, probably 18 feet for my double. Uh, it's gonna be pretty quick. It's breaking right a little bit, mainly at the end. Come on, put, putter, the putter feels pretty nice. The stroke feels pretty good. Let's see if I can make this. Save double, stay at 20 over four. Ball, you dingleberry. Hit the ball. Hit it. 
That's a triple. Every time I make a freaking par, I just completely botch the next hole. And we got a par five coming up that has a lot of trouble. That's okay though, we're gonna be confident. We're gonna be confident, as always. That's 21 over through 12 holes. So that put me at 93 right now if I part out. Yeah, I need to go six over the next six holes to break 100. At the end of the day, I need to get my path more into out. So what do I do to do that? I feel like I'm hitting the inside of the ball. I have so many swing thoughts I'm trying out. I don't know. I got driver, dog leg right, par five, 570 yards. The drive is not terribly difficult. The second shot's what I'm a little more worried about, but I should take a driver will worry about that second shot in a second. There it is. That's freaking smoke. Yes. Sweet drive. Good start to the hole. Let's hit the second shot just in freaking play. Please. Might have a chance for another par. Maybe even a birdie. Who knows in this crazy world. I'm not going to lie. I thought my shot got a little further than this. I thought like snuck by the bunker and went down there. This one in play. All right. Now I'm going to hit five iron. There's two bunkers up there that I want to stay short of because I do not want to be in a bunker right now. So I'm going to try to hit a draw. I have to make sure I hit a draw here with a five iron and lay up. I had to come in from the inside. I had to come in from the inside. Oh, that was okay. All right. Look at that. I will take that. It didn't draw. It went dead straight. But that was, I just, I need to feel like I'm hitting a draw every single shot. Every single shot. Because that was a very draw swing and that was like a perfect straight ball. I'm learning more. I'm learning more about myself and my ways and my tendencies. Come on, that was good. And that's two really good shots in this part five. Now we're in the clear. There's not really much trouble up on the green, except for the bunkers, which if you saw in the part one, I had one bunker shot. Bunkers aren't my friend, lefty. So I need to stay out of the bunkers as much as possible. All right, Mike, we've got a real opportunity here for something special. Yeah, 103 yards, middle of the fairway. I got pitching wedge out. I think it's the right number if I hit it solid. So I'm aiming a little right of the green, a little right of the pin. Let's try and get this on the green, give myself a look at birdie. right and go I can't that's going left edge of the green I think it, if it stayed on that'll be a pretty decent spot I have a feeling that's a little too far left though hit it good I hit it solid had a little less cut on it well walking up it's not in the green I had a feeling it was a little too far left gosh darn it that sucks you know what I should putt this I really should Gonna take my medicine. I'm gonna give myself a good lie because it's winter rules, and I am going to chip this. No, Brad, you need to stay there, stay there, stay there. That that's what like Brad just put it. Just put it, man. Just put it. Stupidity at its finest. All you have to do is just put that and get on the green. Freaking idiot. Trying to break a hundred, not freaking show off, idiot. Frustrating. It's okay though. It's okay though. Make this my bogey. Come on, 15 feet. Breaking a little left. Simmer. That's just that's straight up stupidity. Put it, and you're making bogey at worst. I'm gonna go hit it again just for practice. All right, number 14, 472 yards, downwind luckily, uh, wide open too. So you need to get drive here. You need a solid drive that doesn't fan open. Get down there a little bit of ways and see if I make some pars coming in. It's it's feeling better. Like that last hole, that was a, that's a tough par five for me, hitting lefty. And if I just hit putter from off the green side of wedge, it's a pretty easy bogey at worst, maybe even par. And it's getting better, I feel like. I can still, do some do something coming down here down the stretch and uh hopefully break 100 but let me know if y'all enjoy this if you enjoy watching me struggle play golf yeah mike get even closer come on get closer see all my pores my clogged pores on my nose no that's why i didn't say it that's why i didn't say it sit oh that's safe i think i was gonna say i felt really good over that ball <laughs> so that's why i was not saying it i was gonna say i feel really good over this i feel like it's gonna be a good drive 
And I, just, and I was like, no, I'm playing lefty. That's right. I shouldn't be saying that. Well, it's safe. That's that's about the only positive. It's safe. But because I hit it so far left and so just fanned open and crappy, I cannot reach the green. I have three wood, but it's 275 to the pin. I'm hoping I put myself on a nice little lie, so that might help. But I'm hoping I can just run it up there somewhat close to the green. Gosh dang it, Brad. It's just a wide open fairway. I can't. The swing was feeling so good earlier. Like the first three or four holes. Just now it's not. Now it's just simply not. Holy. Yeah, there's no chance it's gonna get there. People are on the green, but that was hammered. The three wood might be kind of the sneaky play sometimes. It's two in a row, really good with this club. All right, all right. The the problem is, I think I went in that bunker. Mm. That's that's gonna be an issue. That's gonna be a real issue if it didn't stay short of that bunker. Please, please tell me it stayed short. All right, as y'all saw, or as y'all heard me say, I'm short of the bunker. Not much green to work with, but that's okay. I just, not gonna complain too much. 58 degree, I've learned that I like to slide under it and just kind of pops up. So I gotta have a little speed and a little shaft length to this one. Let's get this one close. Sit. Sit. All right. I didn't want to hit the little popper upper that just went short in the bunker. And then I screwed myself. So it's safe. I got a putt for par. It's a long one. You know what they call this putt, Mike? Hmm. A putt for par. And I haven't had many of those today, so I'm happy about it. It's like 30 feet down the hill. Got to watch the speed, but it's a chance. It's an opportunity. My first par I made, I made about a 30 footer. And I went berserk, so I will do the same if I make this. Hey, they made Rosa. Rosa, Rosa. I've never known how to say that. Is it Rosa or Rosa? I used to have this putter when I was younger. I never knew how to say it. Downhill, breaking right the last half. Just a little bit. It's not doing much. Just put good speed on it. Two putt at the worst, come on. Break right, break right. All right, good speed. All right, that's a five. Not bad, I mean, it's like a 500 yard par four from back there almost, so not bad, especially after that drive. The three would really save me by getting up there close to the green, so. That puts me at, wow, the numbers are getting so high, I'm forgetting what I'm at. That puts me at 24 over par through 14 holes. That's kind of crazy to say. So right now I'd be shooting 96 if I parred out. Three over and four holes, that, that's doable. We got a par three here, if I can just hit a good iron shot on the green or around the green, the next hole's not too difficult either. 17, 18 are gonna be kind of tough, but come on, we can do this. Just three over the next four, come on. All right, Mike. 156 yards over water par three all i have to do is just need to hit it solid just hit a nice solid shot I'm going seven iron it's kind of a daunting shot but it's just i just need one good shot and get on the green maybe hit my first green regulation as well possibly i'm just looking for a par looking for a par here got seven iron aiming in the middle of the green come on let's hit let's hit a special shot here oh, that was a draw swing all right Simmer. Okay. Green and rig, Mike. Green and rig. Come on. That's a birdie putt. First yeah. Birdie, first birdie putt of the day. Let's go. Maybe we can just jar that one. That's actually a pretty good feeling swing. I pulled it slightly, but I'm not going to be too uh, too picky. I hit the green on part three. First ever green and rig, maybe left-handed. I don't know. Got about as far of a putt as you can possibly have in this hole, but I don't care. It's on the green. We have a putt for birdie. Speed, obviously, is gonna be important. I think I'm kind of figuring out my yardages, maybe. That was a nice, solid seven iron, and it was pre pretty much perfectly pin high. Seven is about my 150, 155 club. So if we're judging off of that, everything's about 30 to 40 yards short than normal. But yeah, we got about a 60 footer here, 50, 60 footer. Breaking left the whole way. Just focus on the speed. Try to butt this one and get out of here with the par. No, I didn't play it high enough. No, it's actually not terrible. Wow, that actually was really good. I thought I pushed it and left it way low. Kind of hung in there and uh, a little tap in for my par. 
Nice. Come on, Mike. That's three pars for the day. Parred both of the par threes on this side. That keeps me at 24 over. So now I just gotta go three over on the last three holes to break 100. Again, like I've been saying, no do overs all day. I've been playing, if I hate OB, I re -T. I don't do the, I'm not doing the old YouTube rules where it's just playing it as lateral. I'm re -teeing. I'm re-hitting if it's OB, I'm, I'm playing it real. So three over in the last three, I shoot 99. We're, break, we're setting new records out here for myself. Par four, 381 yards. So a good drive here would go a long way. Could have a little short iron in if I hit a good one here. You gotta put a good swing on it. You gotta put a good confidence swing on it. Have a little draw feeling. Try to swing from the inside, a little inside out path. Come on, let's hit a, let's hit a good shot here. Okay, Mike? Okay, boom. Wow, all right. Pretty good. Okay, that was a nice little swing. I felt like I got squared up there. I don't know what I do there differently. Maybe I just, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I do there differently than when I hit it way left. 152, all right, 152, uphill. Last hole was 155. Yeah, I hit seven iron is the right club. So I'm gonna hit seven iron again. Um, pretty much the same win too. Yeah, seven iron hit a really nice drive there. That swing felt really nice. I'm just, I'm, I need to figure out why that happens and why some of those left ones happen. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm almost like going like that. I, need to, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I got seven iron. Let's just hit this on the green for maybe second green regulation in a row. Maybe make a bird, who knows? Whoa. Let's go in. Oh, no. No, I didn't think that bunker was even gonna be in play with that shot. Oh, 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 I hit that so good, so good. I thought that was gonna be all, I thought I had birdie just raging in my mind after I hit that shot. Now I'm in the bunker screwed. I suck out of the bunkers like y'all told y'all and damn, I, that was a good shot though. I'm not gonna lie, I hit that really solid. I hit it basically right at the pin. I thought I was covering that bunker easily. All right, we're in the bunker. Gosh, that thing landed right on the top edge. If that lands a yard further, that's gonna run back there. That's mm, frustrating, but I'm not good out of bunkers, like I said. I'm just trying to hit this one solid and just get it on the green somewhere decently close to the hole. Come on, Brad. All right, we'll have to take that. We'll have to take that. So much, that could have gone in so many different ways. That would have been a lot worse. So I got up up for par now, about 25 feet. See if I can go make that. Actually, that bunk shot somewhat kind of felt nice. I feel like I had some nice splash to it. Really just spanked that sand. And I got like 25, 30 feet up the hill, breaking right. Let's see if I can somehow make this. But a bogey's not gonna be the end of the world. So if I just two putt this, I'm okay with that. No, sit, sit, simmer. Didn't break as much as I thought it would. And also, I think I pushed it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Again, not the end of the world. Good drive though. Man, it's like, good drive, hit a good second shot too. I wish I could have been a little more rewarded for hitting those two shots, but that's okay. That puts me at 25 over. If I parred the last two, I would shoot a 97. So, like bogey last two, we go two over the last two, then I will shoot 99, break 100. <sighs> Feeling the nerves. Miguel, Miguel, Miguel. 474 yard par four. A little into the breeze. This hole is gonna be a doozy. I would take bogey on this hole right now and just absolutely run. And this tee shot's not very good looking. So I just gotta be confident as I can. And make a swing like I did in the last hole. I don't know really what I did, but I hope I do it again. Whatever I did on that one. Why do I do that? It's so frustrating. It's so solid, but it's just the most wide open face. We're gonna be waiting on the second shot anyway, so I just want to give you all my little practice shot. That's better. 
I feel almost be like my body's out racing my arms. I'm getting stuck like this. I just need to feel like my arms are getting in front of me better. I don't know. I really don't know, Mike. It's frustrating, but it's safe over there. The second one was good. A little practice shot. All right, Mike, we got like probably 230 pins. So I am not going for this green. I'm just going to try to get back onto our correct hole. I got six iron. I'm just going to go over these trees. I'm going to try to put a little draw swing on, on it like I did that one par five, number 13 or whatever, whatever that was. Just trying to make bogeyous holes. all I want. Up. Well, that's not gonna be good. I saw where it bounced to, so this is so frustrating. I'm just so stuck. I can feel it. All right, Mike, we found it. It's not in a good spot. The green's over there on the other side. I'm gonna shift back onto number 16, get back on that hole again, and um, just so I have a shot. This is mm. all right, watch out. I mean, it's a, gosh dang, I'm making a mess of this hole. Got about 110 yards here. Yeah, about 110. This is my fourth shot, so if I can get this on the green, or just around the green and two putt, make double, that'd put me at 99 if I poured last hole. So, let's make a double here, that's fine. Then I at least have a chance on the last hole. Go. Go hard. All right, clear the bunker. Let's go. It's on the green. Two putt that. Make double. 27 over. Let's just, let's just two putt first. I got very lucky there. I think barely cleared the bunker and it did not roll back in. So and I did not think that ball was covering that bunker at all whenever I hit it. All right, let's just two putt this for my double. Breaking right once it gets on the green pretty hard and then it's going to straighten out. That was terrible. All right, well, got to make this for my double. Matt, what, what are you doing, Brad? What are you doing? How, like, how do you hit a putt that bad? That's a tough one to swallow. That puts me at 28 over. I got a birdie this last hole to break 100, and I mean, from the looks of the rest of the round, birdie doesn't seem very viable. You never know. And it's dead into the wind with water left, which is where my ball has been liking to travel lately. So 28 over through 17 holes. Gosh, I was playing so good this back nine until that happened. All right, I got driver. Gotta get through this ball. I gotta get through. I can't get stuck with this one or else it's going to the water. I gotta get through it, so come on. All right, taking a drop. Could have dropped up there, but gosh, I'm so pissed about that. Could have dropped up there, but I'm just gonna re -tee. I'm gonna hit through this time. It's been trusty, so just can't through it and play gosh that driver i just i got if i wanted to do, keep doing this lefty stuff i gotta figure out that driver all right well this throw went freaking nowhere and it threw it again lay up yeah let's try to make a double i guess in this hole now double or triple come on no stop ball might be safe Gosh, I just have the left now. I've completely lost my swing. This is frustrating. I appreciate all watching. You know, this has been, it was, it's, there's been moments where it's been freaking awesome. And moments like this, where it's just like, I, the last, you know, I guess just 17, 18, I just cannot. And then other times throughout the rounds, I just keep hitting that freaking high left ball. I can't square it up. It's frustrating. Oh, I'm safe over here, okay. I can hit one shot so good and the next one just goes 60 yards left or something. We got 225 green into the wind. So I'm 
probably won't be able to get it there unless I just absolutely hammer it. But I'm gonna do my best. Come on, let's fit a good one here. And then I hit a shot like that. That's just so solid. All right, it's safe. We, we're safe, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of water in this hole, and I only went, in on it, went into it once. Third shot from the tee, fourth shot, fifth shot. So I'm, my upcoming shot will be my sixth shot. Man, just not gonna break 100, but that's okay, that's okay. Well, pretty good through it over here, just in the bunker, sadly, which I'm not too fond of, but um, let's just hit a solid out of here, hit a decent shot. Get it on the green. Give myself a look at double. Come on. It, the bunker just feels so bad. I was just happy I got that one out. Can't break 100 now, so I'm just gonna go a little wedge shot here. A little, little, little lob wedge. Got the sand on the face. We may need a little nipper. Eighth shot I'm about to hit. Two up for a quad. Gosh dang it. Alright, breaking hard right. Alright, three butt. And that is a quadruple bogey nine to finish. That uh, means I shot 104. What was that? 53, 51, I think, on the two nines. Gosh dang it. You know, left hand golf is not easy. It's not easy. I feel like it's there. Like my range swing is honestly pretty good. I can mean, hit it pretty solid. I was super stoked before the round. So my swing felt really good on the range. And then the first like four or five holes, it was feeling pretty decent. The driver was going nice. And then the rest of the round, I hit a couple of good, good drives, but other than that, I just kept hitting that left ball that I just gotta figure out if I wanna keep, you know, cause I do wanna get better lefty. Obviously my main focus is still being good righty, but I do wanna get a little better lefty. That way I can play some of these rounds, maybe at some point break 80 or break 90 lefty. That'd be, that'd be fun. That's 104, first ever 18 hole round of golf, left-handed. Big thanks to Mike for coming out and filming. Um, big thanks to y'all for watching and make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and hit that notification bell. So you can be notified for my upcoming videos. We got some fun ones coming up. Probably more left-hand ones coming up if y'all like it. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.